Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about data types in Ruby. Now, a data type is essentially a type of data that we can represent and use inside of our Ruby programs. And by default, Ruby is going to support a bunch of different data types. So these are basically just types of information that we can use in our programs. And I want to talk to you guys about the different types of data that we can use. And we're going to look at how we can store those different types of data inside of variables. So down here, I'm actually going to create a couple different variables and we're going to store some different types of information inside of those variables. And the first and probably most basic type of data that we can represent in our Ruby programs is called a string. And a string is basically just plain text. So anytime we want to represent plain text, in our Ruby programs, we can use a string. So I could just make a string called like name and I could set it equal to Mike. So this is a good example of a string. It's basically a variable and we're storing a string value inside of it. So the string is just like any plain text, right? You could also make another one occupation and we could set it equal to like programmer. Whatever, you can store any like information that you'd want to store as plain text inside of your programs as a string. We could also store numbers. So for example, I could store a whole number. Like if I wanted to specify someone's age, I could say age is like 75, right? So someone might be 75 years old. We can represent numbers like this inside of our Ruby programs. And you'll notice that with a number, I didn't need to use these quotation marks. I just had to type out the number that I wanted to type out. You can also use decimal numbers. So this right here, 75, is what would be referred to as an integer. And an integer is basically just a counting number, like two, three, four, five, six, seven. Basically a number, like a whole number. A decimal number is different because a decimal has decimal points after it. And a lot of times, especially in Ruby, we'll refer to these numbers as floating point numbers. Basically just means that they're decimal numbers. So if I wanted to specify a floating point number, I could say like GPA, we could set it equal to like 3.2. Or you can set it equal to 3.2854, whatever. Like you can set it equal to, you know, whatever decimal point you want to represent inside of Ruby. So using integers and using floats, you can represent different types of numbers. You can also make these negative. So I can make this like a negative 75 or a negative 3.2 and Ruby is going to be just fine with that. In addition to storing numbers, we can also store something called a Boolean. And a Boolean is basically a true false data type. So a lot of times in programs, we're going to want to represent true or false data. And this might not be something that you're super used to doing uh, in the real world, but in programming, when we're specifying types of data, a lot of data is going to fall into like the true or false category. For example, if I created a variable called is male, this variable could tell us whether or not someone is a male, in which case it's going to be like a true or false value, right? They're either a male or they're not. It only has two possible values. So I could set this equal to true because I'm a guy. You could also create one, you know, it could be like is tall and this Boolean variable would tell us whether or not someone's tall, right? So if you're not tall, then it would be false. So a lot of information in our programs can be represented with one of two values, either true or false. We can also store one more type of information, which is called nil. And the nil data type basically means that it doesn't have a value. So for example, if I created a variable called like flaws and I set it equal to nil, basically what this means is this flaws variable doesn't have a value. So we can go out of our way to say that something is nil, like to say that it has no value. So these are the basic data types in Ruby. And there's actually like a couple other like more obscure data types that we could use. But for the most part, these are the data types that you're going to be using as a beginner to the Ruby programming language. So we can store and represent information in either text form with a string, number form with an integer, which is a whole number or a floating point number, which is like a decimal number or we can use true or false values and we can also use nil, which would mean no value. So these are sort of the basics. And as we go forward in this Ruby course, we're gonna be looking at all sorts of ways that we can work with this type of data. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. 
Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.